Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do Sunday's sauce. So let's see what's cooking in the sauce today. It's a reading for the collective. Only claim this from your higher self for your higher good and only if it resonates. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. All right, let's hit this. Clearing ground, please, for Sunday's sauce. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective. All right, collective, we are working with energy. It's fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah. Show me what's going on in the sauce. Who's lost in the sauce today? Okay. Show me. Here we go. Six of Cups. Somebody's got their head stuck in the past. They're either feeling very nostalgic, very sentimental. They're sitting in the lands of memories, probably listening to some melancholy music, or people, places, and things from the past are resurfacing. That caused a lot of aggravation. It's going to be somebody that has Leo in their chart. Somebody that has Leo in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male and female, could be resurfacing and causing drama with the Five of Torches, right? Something like this. Some kind of conflict. Or what these people do, or this situation, or whatever this is that resurfaces, okay? The challenge is not to let it get to you and, and get all kinds of aggravated. You know what I mean? So show me. Foundation. Foundation. What's the foundation of this? At the foundation, somebody picked a path. All right, somebody was stuck at crossroads, they made a decision, and they moved ahead in a particular direction, all right? They came out of a comfort zone, they took a risk, and they took their first steps in a direction. Whatever direction this was, or was, or is, somebody probably did not like it, all right? Hold on a second. There we go. Okay, so what's crowning this? What's crowning? Please and thank you. What's crowning? Crowning. Crowning, 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 please. Let's go. Crowning, you got the principle. Somebody's watching somebody go down whatever path it is that they chose. Somebody's trying, this is a spycraft card. Somebody's trying to gather, gather information about what happens on this path. Whatever decision somebody made to go in a direction, now somebody wants to know, what are they doing over there in that direction? <laughs> That's what, Yeah, just like that. What's coming in? So trying to gather information, like I tell you all the time, it could be the nosy neighbor, the office gossip, a relative, a friend, your mother, or one of your kids. It could be anybody, right? A, excuse me, a lover, an ex-lover, just some nosy person that has nothing to do, but yeah, climb up your ass with a microscope, right? This is what? Wow, okay. Princess of Cups. So it could be somebody that has water in their chart. Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Perhaps somebody younger, but it doesn't have to be. Could be somebody's sister. I mean, sister might be stalking them for some reason. Could be. How are you looking at this? Somebody just, you know... Somebody who seems very innocent on the outside. And I'm not saying that they're not. I'm just saying that while this person may seem all innocent on the outside, they're still very nosy. They're trying to figure out something, okay? I might have to clarify to find out what that is. I have to because I'm so... I'm nosy, all right? I'm nosy. I'm the Prince of Swords right now. Show me what's going on here. How are you looking at this water energy? How are you looking at this? Show me. Okay, so you're looking at this... Okay, first of all, something could happen in the morning. So you might wake up to something, some kind of enlightenment. I'm going to leave this over here. It's coming in on the shelf. This could be like in the, in the like 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning. Some of you might be getting dreams. Some of you might have insomnia. Some of you might be getting some kind of information in the morning, either about somebody watching you or somebody calling you to get information to see what they can find out. Something like this. So if you somebody's waking you up mad early or somebody's calling, you know, you're getting some kind of information, some kind of downloads, whoever it is that you're thinking about, or whoever's calling you first thing in the morning and asking questions, that's the one. Okay? Give them all the wrong information. Don't tell them you're cooking Sunday sauce. Tell them you're making goulash, so it's just stay home. <laughs> Nobody likes goulash. I don't even know what it is. Right? So they'll stay home. Yeah, whatever this is, I don't know. Could be like somebody's mother or somebody's sister calling them to get some kind of information. I wouldn't say mother, but a sister. Something like that. Show me. How are, you, how are you looking at this? You're looking at... Somebody's waking somebody up here. I can tell you that. That can make somebody angry. <laughs> want to start a fight. Show me. Come on already here. What is it with these cards? Thank you. Yeah. So, what am I telling you? It's the Queen of Cups in reverse. So, this person... Look. 
This person might act all friendly and then they're smiling and they're coming off like, you know, helpful or very innocent or like they want to, you know, like they're compassionate. But in the meantime, it's really the Queen of Cups in reverse. You're looking at, so like I said, it could be a mother, but like a narcissistic, nasty ass mother that's acting nice on the outside. But, you know, really this person, they want to get information for something. So they're all putting on a front here, whoever this person is. This person has Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their chart. Highly predominant, okay? But they're twisted. They're jealous. They're deceitful, okay? They don't, they they have, they're very needy. They're imbalanced. They're not emotionally mature or available. So this is what? They're putting on a front. They're coming in like the Princess of Cups. In the meantime, they're really the queen. So they're trying to be manipulative here, okay? And maybe they're even trying to like catch you when you're foggy. Like if they wake you up. At some ungodly hour, the dawn, or you know, before the sun comes up, or some shit. I'm seeing, I'm seeing those, uh, I'm seeing bushfires again. So I'm seeing like the woods on fire. <laughs> oh my god! They might call you and tell you like some kind of stupid thing, like the the trees are burning or something like this. A volcano went off. There's like volcanic ash in the air or something. You're obviously sleeping. You're gonna be groggy. This is how they're gonna they're gonna trick you into get the information because you're not gonna be thinking. You're gonna still be groggy. I really feel like somebody's getting woken up here. And what it is, is it's this deceitful person trying to manipulate you, acting all nice to try to get some kind of information. It's not for good, all right? There's blood on the end of this sword. What the hell? Don't answer the phone. Do yourself a favor. Put it on silent like I do. So you get up and head to coffee and you get your marbles back. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't want to say something that you regret or give them information that you about a direction you took or what you're doing. They, they want to find out about what you're doing. What are you doing? Why do they want to know is the question. I don't care if it's a parent or not. I don't care. Because they want to start shit. That's why. They want to start some kind of trouble. Somebody from your past. All right. Phew. Let's see. So now you got... Oh, okay. See, so now look at this. The magician's coming in on the shelf. The Gemini energy for somebody who's very manipulative, somebody who's deceptive. They're being deceptive. They might be greedy. They lack mental clarity. They, you know, they're tricking you. This is manipulation. It's not a good manipulation. It's not the deliberate created in a positive way. It's not completely crazy. This is just somebody who thinks they're smarter than everybody else, and they're going to trick you, and that's how they're going to do it. They're going to try to get you when you're groggy here. Yeah. That's why the morning came in on the shelf. To show you that it's not going to be in the morning when you're up and bright, right? It's not going to be at night. No, it's going to be when you're sleeping here to wake you up so that you're groggy. And then you slip out with something about whatever, you know, path you're on here, choice you made, road you took, whatever it is. I'm seeing something about ants, ants. Something maybe Somebody's got some kind of ant station or maybe somebody's at a picnic where little ants are coming. Here you go. King of Cups. All right, so look. Now we got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now we got like, this could be somebody's father interceding. <laughs> you know, like, put this bitch to bed. What the hell am I hearing? Oh my God. Anyway, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you guys out there, might, this might like be your wife or something. I don't know. Like, maybe they think you're cheating. I don't know what this person wants. They want information. Whatever that information is going to be different for everybody. This person definitely thinks they're smarter and more manipulative than everybody. And they got to, they concocted this little plan about how to confuse you. Keep your heart open. Stay loving. Stay kind. Stay balanced. Don't let this person throw you off your game. Mm -mm, go fishing. <laughs> go fishing. Somebody might drink here. Yeah. This could be as simple as somebody trying to find out, like, what... This could be like a friend of yours is a bitch, jealous, deceitful, right? And they want to find out what you did, where did you go, who, do you hang, who did you hang out with? They're all going to start shitting st princesses' swords now. You see what I'm saying? Somebody's got some kind of a... Anger issue or some kind of hard on that they that they they yeah or resentment something they're coming in they're gonna, they're trying to get information and once they gather this information here yeah, get everything they need they're gonna come in and start some kind of shit now you do have a ten of cups here don't let this interfere with your emotional happiness or your fulfillment like I said this could be a wife or a husband here doing this you know what I mean they, maybe somebody's just jealous maybe somebody's just drunk. Maybe somebody's coming home drunk, stupid. I don't know. You do have a three of pentacles here. Somebody does want to work with you. There is teamwork. There is some kind of effort. Somebody here might be lost up in their head, though, stuck. Somebody is going to make some kind of effort to transform whatever this is. And it's going to be... Okay, so then you're going to get the nine of pentacles and the sun. And the nine of cups. We love it. Nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. 
megahertz, 999 hertz, shamanic healing of Archangel Michael. So just you might have to do things in a, in an unconventional way, but it's going to be a new opportunity for some kind of resources, all right? You're going to get emotionally fulfilled, nine of cups, success, happiness, contentment, a wish come true. It's going to make you very happy. Something's going to be illuminated. It's the sun. It's warmth. It's love. It's happiness. And financial, you know, being rewarded materialistically and financially, all right? You have Scorpio. Something's going to transform, and, and this is going to... This is all going to work out. All right. This is all going to work out. What are we going to give you? Let's give you a couple of these, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. We have nosy neighbors. Well, there you go. It could be the nosy neighbors. Trying to see, like, man, you could be coming home drunk at night and they're watching to see what you're doing. Be careful. They might want to create some legal issues. You don't know people. They just, you know what? Just be careful. Somebody could be in Mexico. Ooh, somebody could be like driving over the border, partying, coming back. Somebody's watching them do this. I don't know. Yo, know, jealous bitches. What am I telling you? Did I say somebody was jealous here? You're welcome. Let's see. Watch. Social media stalker. So somebody's stalking somebody's social media. Get a life. There might be... See, somebody might think that there's some... Somebody could be going to Mexico and... Bringing back drugs. What? This is going to be... The nosy neighbors are watching and there's going to be legal issues. You could be even stalking somebody's social media to find out what they're doing. Oh, my God. Corn on the cob. They're hiding it in... Oh, my God. What? I'm seeing some kind of a crazy move. They're hiding it in the stalks of the corn of the cob. What? Could be. I don't know, but I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. Look, you got a hacker. See, I'm telling you. Social media stalker and a hacker. Somebody's trying to find out if they're hiding shit in corn on the cob or something like that. Some kind of vegetables, some kind of shipment. What, from like Costa Rica or Mexico or some shit where there's like bananas or pineapples. I'm seeing like tropical fruits, guava, papaya. Somebody's sticking some kind of drugs in papaya. What's going on? Fear, face everything and rise. Don't run. Unless you're the one, you better run if you have legal issues for this. Somebody's going to be doing some time. Yeah, nobody's got time for this bullshit. You got that right. Careful what you do. RV life. Yeah, go get in an RV and go live somewhere else. Don't do this. I'm, I'm telling you. You're going to wind up in jail. Somebody overconsumes junk food. Well, if that's how you feel about your, you know, vessel, and you want to put low test shit in it, who am I to argue with you? Okay? You got to think of yourself as a Maserati. You're going to go into the gas station and give me $10 regular, or you're going to give me the best gas you have. Exactly. Here, Raj. And here you go. Breaking news. There's a legal issue for somebody who was hiding drugs in a corn on the cob. They were probably transporting it from Mexico. There were some jealous, nosy bitches watching. They hacked every this person's shit, called the cops, and snitches get stitches. So when this person gets out of jail, I wouldn't be there anymore. I would be in an RV moving away before somebody gets you. And you're all comfortable in the chaos over here. Crazy ass people. <laughs> these Saturday soups and these Sunday sauces are getting crazy. I feel like Jerry Spring. It's so fun. All right, so here we go. Yeah, somebody could be Ray. Look, look, Rex, Mex. Again, Mexico, Tex-Mex. Telling you. Maybe you're going to read about it on the paper, on, you know, on the news or some shit. Then, you'll, then you're going to give me my props, right? Okay, let's see. Somebody's ex or something, an ax. Look, how do you get two, two X's? How do you get two X's? In, in 500 million letters. How do you do that? Somebody's a nurse. I'm just, oh my God. Somebody's a nurse. They, they might have to cut somebody open and pull like drugs out of their ass. What am I seeing? Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I is right because they're going to be in pain. R and two X's. Some, some kind of prescription. A G. A E O. I, I, I. Two G's. You got to be kidding me. S. Two S's. Something about doubles. O's. There you go. I'm not taking any more letters out. RN, two X's, two G's, two S's, A, E, two O's, three I's, and a Y. All right. That probably is not going to resonate with anybody. But if it did, do what you got to do. We love you. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.